this is another Crafty Sauce video, and today we are back in our medieval town build. Guys, today I have something to show you. We have officially finished... We have officially finished the layout of where the wall is going to go. This was the last corner build. You can see I have some glowstone along here. So I counted how big our area was. And from this wall to the wall way over there, it's about 400 blocks and across from this wall over here, if it loads in, come on, load in. There we go. Over from this wall to this wall over here is about 150 blocks or so. Anyway, there's another thing I've been working on. This big hill here. Yeah, it used to be covered with trees. This whole area. So I cleared this whole area out, which took quite a bit of work. So now we can actually sort of see what the land looks like. And we can see that there's a lot of caves and some weird water pockets, which ones like this one right here, I'm probably going to keep, but like the small weird ones, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of and probably a bunch of these caves that just sort of poke out. But generally, the mountain has a really good shape. And something I thought was really cool was this area over here. This little, like, overhang area over some water. I am going to actually get some night vision. So that way, we can see this place a little bit better. But connecting to this is actually a luscious cave which has oh which has lots of like moss and clay and weeping vines and these cool little things which actually fall when you step on them for too long but you can see this cave is actually pretty big so if you have any ideas for this leave the com leave comments down below now let's leave this cave and I actually have a couple of other things that I found just off the side, just off the other side of the wall over here. Now I was looking around and I was thinking, so if it loads in, we have this big sort of lake area over here, which the river that connects to that sea gate over there sort of wraps around over to this. And I was thinking if we ever need to do any expansions, this would be a good spot to do them. And over here, I actually found a ruined nether portal, which is sort of buried in the side of the hill, which is pretty close to our little place over here, but I don't think we're going to use it. I just thought that was cool. Oh, and another thing I did when I, after I finished hooking all the walls up, I did all the terraforming for the outside of the wall. As you can see, there's still some dirt here, but yeah, I did that the whole way along. And the inside I did not do because I figured once we cleared all the trees like we did on this side, we're going to do a whole bunch of reworking with the land to make it better for building buildings on anyways so I didn't bother doing that this is another crafty saucer video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe too while you're at it 